So it looks like Yazi didn't get the W that he wanted last week, so... Um, I feel like I was missing a lot of my heavy attacks for my deck, and um, some, like, a few combo pieces. I probably could have played it a little bit better, but at the end of the day, if he just kept blocking out, he could have just ended up milling me out. So, um, I'm going to do my roll. So, I haven't explained this yet. We do a roll at the end of each week. The winner of the week is able to re-roll their roll. On a 1 or a 2, we get a common. On a 3 to 4, we get a rare. On a 5, we get a majestic. And on a 6, we get a, an equipment piece. You can choose to double down your roll on a 5 or a 6. If you double down on a 5, you get a majestic equipment. On a 6, you get a legendary equipment. Um, so yeah, I'll start off with my roll, and then I'll go on to opening my packs. So, for my roll, I don't get my re-roll, but we got a 5. Um... I don't think I need the, any Majestic Equipments, so I think I'm just going to go with a Majestic. Um, after my packs, I think I'll choose what I'm do going to uh, use for my Majestic. It could be a Red in the Ledger, it could be a um, like a generic good uh, Majestic, like let's say three of a kind or something. And we are also counting uh, Supers as Majestics as well because they fill the same slot. So, this week, I've got some Monarch, and I have some Crucible of War. Um, the reason why I'm going with Monarch is because eventually I can tutor into something else. Um, the Crucible of War is still there for like my sleep darts and all my extra things that I could like eventually get. Um, but I'm, I need Monarch because I think I need Memorial Ground. I can get some really good things from Monarch as well. Um, there's a few really good commons like Captain's Call and all that. So I'm going to opt out for three Monarch packs, and I'll get more packs for it too. And I'll go to Crucible Awards. Alright. So I think I'll start off with... We'll go 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Alright. Alright. First pack we got a bauble. And everyone knows the rule about baubles. So the key actually is to split it right down the middle. <laughs> But yes, let's go on to our cards. Uh, rip through reality. I'm not too interested in playing chain, so it's just gonna be nothing. Uh, courage. Um, illusionist. Rushing river. I don't see myself playing it. There's our memorial ground, but it is in red. I want it in blue. Um, or yellow. Uh, stony. Yinti Yanti. Uh, Seek Enlightenment. A blue herald of triumph, which I don't exactly need. A gallantry gold, I don't exactly need either. V for the Vanguard and a Rise Above. This could be my filler slot instead of um, uh, a Memorial Ground. It fills the same slot. Um, and I guess I'll put that here. So we'll go onto a Crystal War Pack. Oh, that's right, they split down the middle now. Consuming, meet and greet, foreboding, swing fist, soul bead strike, choke slam, which could be good for our guardian. A foil cash in, I mean, I don't need it. Uh, promise plenty, that could go into our deck, and a pitfall trap, that's very good. Um, keep putting things in spots. Monarch. Dreadwood. I'll just start speeding through this. Overload could be alright, but I don't really care for it. Rally the rear guard. Rift bind. Time skippers. We don't need time skippers at all. Fantastic. Ooh, Herald of Erudition. That's not too bad. I doubt I need it though. Let's uh, butthole. A mechanologist, a Zen state token, snapback to reality, flying kick, ocean dominance, 
Wolverine skies. So nothing really that I needed from the Monarch packs. I mean the Crucible War packs. And Graveling Dark Knight. Stony Hooves. Uh, I mean, eventually they could be useful, but not right now. Ooh! Okay. Okay, not too bad. I don't mind the Hydra, because I, I, I'm I someone who knows actually how to use Hydra. But yeah. Um, okay, so not too bad for pulls. Um... Two Majestics. I'm not complaining. We got the same amount last packs as well. But yeah, um, hopefully I can find something for this deck. I'll see you in the next part. Alright, with some careful consideration, because I will be playing Ranger, I did opt out... To, no, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I, I'm not talking to you! <laughs> um... I, I did opt out to add an endless arrow to my list for my majestic slot. Um, I can pressure a lot with this, especially being able to like put it back on top of my deck with memorial grounds and be able to get it with dominate hit and then add it back to hand. And then if I really want, I can crack my arms, put it back in my arsenal and swing with it again. So yeah. Hey lads, what's how's it doing? Welcome to the second installment of the progression series. Um, we, as you saw last uh, last week, I beat uh, Yazi's Azalea with my Bolton, and I won the reroll. So we'll start off with the dice roll, and we'll see what we get. I'm hoping for a six because I need some better equipment to replace that uh, spell fray cloak because it's legitimately like it's literally pointless against that Azalea. So we'll do the reroll, and we'll see what we get. Hoping for five or a six. So I got a one, I'll re-roll that. Got a three, so it's a um a rare or a so it's a rare. Uh we'll figure out what we'll add in and then I'll add it in at last and we'll open a pack for it. So I've got eight packs saved up from last week. So I got f I think it was three saved up and I have five. So I've got monarch. I opted to buy a box, so I just have a bunch of spare, just sitting around. And we'll open the packs and we'll see what we get. So we'll start with pack number one. I'm hoping for some good Majestics or even a decent Red to chuck in. Uh, maybe. Ooh, we got an equipment. We've got an exude confidence. That is really nice. That will fit in really well. Um, and then we got this Ironhide Helm, which I can chuck in. This is a sideboard equipment. Uh, first pack is pretty decent. Exude confidence is a nice, nice touch. Uh, let's see. I got a Yellow Courageous. Yellow Bolt of Courage. Surgeon Militia isn't too bad. I kind of like the card. That's Blue Illuminate. Ooh, Endless Maw. The best Shadow Brute card. Who's... See, if I was playing Prism, this would be mental, the Prismatic Shield. Uh, Seek Horizon. No point, because I want to charge as much as possible. This pack's a little bit lackluster. Let's see what else we get. Express Lightning. Uh, Brandish ain't too bad. We got a Minnowism. And then a bunch more yellows, which aren't as of use. Just give me something. Give me something good. Engulfing Light. I could 
use I could just chuck this in as a little placeholder captain's call is not too bad it's kind of like a budget art of war gives my weapon <clears throat> gives my weapon a nice little buff it's like this budget art of war which isn't too bad uh, how many packs deep am I so I'm four packs deep this is my fourth one still get a chance for some good uh, some good warrior majestics There we go, I've got an iron height plate, something I can use to just... I've got a deep rooted evil, that's not too bad, it's a shadow brute majestic, but it's deep rooted evil, so it's, it's a shit card. All my homies hate deep rooted evil. Uh, pack number five, and pack number six, my bad, pack number six. Oh, it's the bauble. It's the bauble. Gotta crack the bauble. Gotta crack the bauble. Alright, let's see. Express lightning. Overload. I don't I don't like that much. And those were a bit lackluster. A bomb. Surely Illumina. Give me Illumina Ascension. Ugh. Yep, nothing good. <laughs> and then last pack. Uh, ugh. The worst card. The worst brute card. Screw that card. So there's nothing really of use. Like the brandish isn't bad. Like it can help help me charge. But there's not much I could really I really benefit from. Like Ironhide plate's not bad. <laughs> Blood Drop Brocade. The Exude Confidence is really nice. I can benefit from that a lot. I just need to figure out my blues. So the Spell Freight Cloak's going to get cut instantly. I'm going to put in a. I'm going to put the Iron Hide in over it for now. So this can get screwed. I don't need. I have no more use for that. So now we're running iron hide plate, which is a lot better. So now we got to figure out what's red. We are going to cut. I'll cut these seeking lightnings. I think, and maybe the dusk path pilgrimages. So I only have one dust path pilgrimage. So we'll cut the dust path. That could be my exude. Oh, didn't need the sleeve. <laughs> so we've got an exude confident, which is really, really nice. Um, out of these cards of what I had. This could work really well because it's like if they block an attack action, especially if I've charged, it can. It's regardless going to be leaking damage because of the hero ability. So I'll, I'm going to give this a go and we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to cut one of the Seek Enlightenments for it. And then we'll add the Surge in Militia. Um, if there's anything else I want to add. I will probably go of the captain's call. Just another like buff action. You, you know what I mean? It's like it's better than a seek enlightenment. Which 
Actually, no, I, I, I'm sure. I will keep the Seek Enlightenment. So I'll have a one of Seek Enlightenment. Uh, I get a rare. So I'm not too sure what rare I want to add. Um, we'll let Editing Yazi do a little bit of a cut, and then we'll get back to you when I figured out what rare I would like to add. So, editing Yazi should have fixed that, and we're back to where we are. I've decided what ray I'm going to add, and it's going to be a V of the Vanguard. So I'll have a full playset of them, because that card is very, very helpful. I had to dig through one of my other bolting decks to find it. So now I finally have a full playset of V of the Vanguard. Uh, adds a lot more consistency, and I'll cut the Seek Enlightenment for the V of the Vanguard. I think this deck needs a re-sleeve, so I'm probably going to re-sleeve it at some point, put it in some white sleeves, make it look all nice and fresh, and by the time of the game, you it should be in some fresh new sleeves. All right, now we'll pass it over to Yazi and see what he's doing. All right, so I won the die roll, and I'll go first. Yep. Um, still on death, the will die. Oh, I was kind of at the end of vestige. Uh, still got Halo. Um, yeah. Iron Tree, Snap Dragon, but I've opened an Iron Hide. Okay, that's at least better than Spell Flame. Yeah, <laughs> it benefits so much now. Like, it's. Uh, I, would, right. I would personally rather the Iron Rod just because I don't have to pay anything. Yeah, fair enough. But, um, this is good. This is good too. It still blocks for two. It costs one, so it's not, it's not um, expensive. Alright, so let's start off episode 2. Um, I'll start off by pitching a sleep dart using death dealer ability. Yep. Putting endless error from your card. Yep. Um, hmm. I will use Azalea ability because I don't want this corn yet. Okay, it's a rep. Fire. Didn't exactly need that. Um, I will use rapid fire. And then I'll go a take aim. Yep. Put it um this in our soul. And then I will swing for five with go again. Uh, no dominate. No dominate. One, two, three, four, five, blocking five. Yep. Um, and then I will ask pass. Ask pass. I'll draw two. Oh pitcher blue. Yep. I'll play a take flight in red. Charge in uh which one? Oh, oh, I forgot to reveal my weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm using hatchets. Uh, we're all nah, man. Express lightning. Yep. Uh, coming in for how much? Uh, it's coming in for four. Okay. Um, I'll play... A take cover, putting a card in arsenal. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, any attack reaction, sorry. Uh, no reacts. Yeah, no blocks. Um, and then I'll take two. Take two? Yep. Um... I'll swing with a golfing light for free because I've charged this turn. If it hits, I'll put it into my soul. Yeah. Um, I'll ask for any attack reactions. Uh, no reacts. 
I'll play a tripwire. Yep. So um, hit effects do not trigger this chain link um, unless the hero pays one. So swing for four. Swing in four. Uh, blocking for four. Blocking for four? Yep. Yep. Uh, just remember, we're on Blitz, not CC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should fix that, eh? God damn it. Doing a real great job right now, aren't I? Yep. So, so blocking four. Blocking four, so this is coming in for free. Um, yeah, that's all right. Uh, I'll just pass it. Um, okay. I'll pitch in e potch. I'll play a fourth site. Yep. So next attack game three. I'll use death dealer ability, putting headshot face up muscle, drawing a card. Um, and then I will swing uh, nine. Swing nine. Yeah. No dominate? No dom. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll block six. Take three. What's your haunted effect? Your turn. Nothing. Uh, it, gains plus, it gains plus two if it's placed face up my arsenal. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, my turn is too bad, so I'll just play an express lightning and charge in across the line. Coming in for how much? Uh, it's coming in for four. Six. Block six. Yep. Yeah. And I will pass to you. I will. Pitch Ridge Rider shot. Come in and second shot. Four. For four. Uh, what's he on hit? Uh, nothing. It just says go again. Uh, take four. I'll activate Death Dealer. Yep. Putting Salvage, uh, salvage Shot in Arsenal. Um, and then I'll swing five. If this, if this hits, it goes to the bottom of my deck. Um, hmm. Swing in five? Yeah, five. Uh, I will only take five. Alright, and I'll ask pass. Ask pass? You got it later. Right, what's happening? <laughs> I'll pitch free, play take flight yellow, charge in, rise in solitude. Uh, give me a sec. Um, coming in for three, right? For free, yes. If it's yeah, I'll action. take three. Any attack reactions? Um, no reacts. How's it going again? One, two, three. I have two floating. Yeah. Let me get a dice out. Yeah. Uh, thinking. I'll pay one for gallantry gold. Yeah. And I'll hatch it for free. Hatch. Uh, uh, and don't forget, uh, gallantry gold's dead, right? Yeah, I will detach. Okay, so I'll take three down twelve. Yep. I'll swing a bolt of courage for one. If it hits, I draw a card. I put my iron rod legs in. Yeah. All right. Um. I will swing with a ravenous rabble yellow for 
free. For free. I will take free. Yep. I will activate his earlier ability. Yep. Putting this at the bottom, putting this face up. I'll activate Memorial Ground, putting second shot red. Yep. Here. I'll pitch to play Death Dealer. Yep. Give me this here. A second shot red. Yep. And then I will swing for four. For four. With go again. I'll block three. Oh, block, so five, take one. block five, block five. Block five. My bad. Um, just thinking, still got two remaining. Oh, one remaining, sorry. Um, I'll activate my bullseye races. Yep. A um, red second shot face up. Um, and then this game plus one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come at you five with go again. Uh, two, five, block five. Um, and I'll pass on pass. Pass on pass. Uh, I will just pass back to you. Oh, wait, did I need a pitch for that? Yeah, I did need a pitch. Sorry. And for your turn, what were you doing? Sorry. Uh, pass in. Okay. Pass back to you and I drop four. Yep. Hmm. I'll pitch a take cover. Activate death dealer. Putting his face up drawing a card. I'll play Foresight, give him my next attack plus three. Yep. And then I'll come in with a hamstring shot for eight. And if it hits um, their first attack during the next turn, cost an additional one. Would have cost zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, block six, taking two. Okay. Your turn. Um, it's an arsenal. Swing with an illuminate for free. Mm. I block three with a headshot. As an attack reaction, I'll give a go again with snapdragons. Yep. I'll play an exude confidence for four. Ooh, was that you, Paul? Yeah, that was a uh, one majestic I saw in the eight packs. Of uh, and and uh, no cards in hand, right? Uh, no cards in hand now. I will take four down to eight. Yep, and over to you. I will pitch. Pitch pitfall trap. I'll play silver the tip, looking at the top three, putting an arsenal, uh, putting an arrow face up in my arsenal. Sorry. Yep. Uh, and then put the rest in, at the bottom of my deck in any order. Hmm. I'll put a headshot face up, so now it gains plus two. Yep. Uh, 
Um, and then I'll just swing five. Swing in five. I will. I'll block three. Okay, thank you. Yep. Oof. Ah, uh, pass, mate. Uh, I'll pitch to. I will use Halo of, Illum of Illumination's effect. Put in yep. a light card into my soul, and I will draw a card. Yep. I have one float in. Yep. Swing of Express Lightning for free, choosing not to charge. Any, any attack reactions? Uh, no reactions. I'll take three. Yep, I'll ask some of this and pass. I misplayed that um, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, was exp I was hoping for some more resource in hand. I'll pitch a Ridge Rider shot to second shot for two. I will block two. I will play a take aim, putting Ridge Rider shot face up in my arsenal, yep. and then opting more. I'll keep that there. I'll activate his earlier ability. Mm -hmm. Oh no. For a steering shot. Um, and then, I think this is game, right? I'll come in for, oh no, oh no, no, yeah, I think it's game, unless you have like a big defense reaction. I'll come in for, um, for six with dominate, and if it hits, you lose one life. Oof, I can only pit, block three, pitch one, block two. Yeah, so, well, can only... Yes! <laughs> How, how did you misplay last turn? Uh, I should have just played the V. Why didn't you just play the V? Then you get like go again. And then... I didn't. I didn't think like... it through because I was like, oh, I, I had some dumb thing in my head, but it just didn't work. Yeah. Well, I, I think you were like expecting me to block, and then it gains the um. Yeah. The. But isn't Bolton's ability only if you charge? If you put a card in your soul. Yeah, as if you've charged your turn. Yeah, so you wouldn't have gained the ability unless you actually yeah. charged. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, you almost had me, like, during the mid-game, but it just it so much on you. Yeah. And then, like, like late-game, I would have had my, my Endless Arrow. Yeah, Endless Arrow was the, the... So I rolled a 5 for this week, and I added a Endless Arrow to my deck. I rolled, I think it was a 3 or a 4, and I got V for the Vanguard. I had an extra. My okay, little, okay, so now you have two Vs, right? My little bit of spicy tech, though, I added was uh, Surgeon Militia. Oh, yeah. So if I. Because then you can, like, get go again and all that. Yeah, I can charge as well. Yeah. And if I've charged before this, it is such an annoying card to defend. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Cause but, like, at that, at that point, it's like, it's an amazing, like, yeah. game thing. Because if not, then I'll just take the damage because. Yeah, because like, I'm not going to give you the free go again. Yeah, literally. And also, it gains plus two for each non-equipment card, like not like an uh, attack action card. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, thank you, boys and girls and others, for joining. Uh, and I guess we will see you in the next episode. Yeah. Thank you. See you. Peace. Bye. Bye.